you know, something that's not surprising is how the NBA playoffs and the, the finals have gone so far. Uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, we've seen three games now in, the, in this NBA Finals, two teams that we're very excited to see going against each other coming into it. Uh, and we've got, you know, the, the Denver Nuggets up two, two to one now. But we have to we have to recognize where the Heat are at right now because they're right where they, they usually are at. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're, they're the underdogs, as we expect. Um, they're they're just sitting back, and not only that, but they took one on the road. Uh, we weren't able to cover that game, but they took one on the road at Denver. Uh, so for them to take one from Denver at Denver, uh, at the high altitudes, at uh, just the, the pure fact that you're in their home stadium, for them to take that was it was huge for them. But then going into uh, this game three here, we kind of take a look at the game. And it just wasn't as much as you expect from either side, really. Uh, I, I thought, overall, I feel like the Heat were in prime position to take this game, to, to, to now tie it up, or really take the lead in this now. Yeah. You could have gone up 2-1 to one at home. Um, because you, you look through here, so Nikola Jokic obviously had an amazing game. Um, he, there's, there's no questioning uh, him in any aspect of the game. Um, but between Nikola Jokic, uh, he had 32 points. Uh, he had, let's see, 10 assists and uh, I believe 21, yes, 21 rebounds. Uh, so, I mean, he had an amazing game. Jamal Murray with 34 points. Uh, you know, and the thing is, whenever you're looking at, at what they had, other outside of those two stars, you didn't have anybody else step up. You didn't see uh, Jeff Green going off the way we know he can. We didn't. Uh, we, we we didn't see Aaron Gordon or Michael Porter Jr. really put anything to the to the totals because uh, Aaron Gordon only had 11 points. Uh, MPJ only had two points. Wow. You know, those are both players that played more than 20 minutes in the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, Aaron Gordon with 33 minutes and uh, Michael Porter Jr. with 21 minutes. Wow. So I mean, it's not that the that the, the Heat did bad. They were doing really well defensively. But what the issue is with the, with the Heat, I feel like what we've seen throughout the entirety of the, these playoffs is that they're playing all offense, no defense, or they're playing all defense, no offense. Yeah. And you've got to find a, a happy medium because when you're playing defense like this against a, a, a phenomenal offensive team, uh, you have to also recognize how great they are in defense, and you've got to do something. Uh, Jimmy Butler only with 28 points, which I know is a good a good number uh, to have up there, but when, when nobody else is producing, he has to step up more. Uh, Bam Adebayo played a really good game with 22 points. I think that's what you expect from him. Mm-hmm. Uh, he also had 17 rebounds, uh, so you can't expect too much more from him. Um, but then, you know, we, we've got guys like Cody Zeller, who I don't think they played him enough, but even when he was in, he didn't really make any difference. No. Uh, you've got guys like Duncan Robinson, Robinson, who everybody's been talking about, but he didn't show up in this key key moment when they needed somebody to, to step up on offense. Uh, and then, of course, Kyle Lowry, not much going with almost 30 minutes in the game. Uh, and then Kevin Love with 16 minutes in the game and only puts up six points. Uh, you know, and I, I think he played a really good defensive game. But still, I mean, who is going to step up on this offense to help you get going? We haven't seen uh, Tyler Hero step back in yet, and I'm really questioning what's going on there. But, uh, you know, I, I just don't know. Uh, that That's kind of been my takeaway from, from this whole series so far. But up to Game 3, what have you kind of seen from both sides? You said it the best. Like, looking at it, Miami is definitely playing one way or the other. They're not playing both ways. Watching Game 3, it seemed like all they were doing was – playing defense and it honestly wasn't working as great as what we've normally seen out of Miami like Jokic down low obviously he's Jokic it's it's not hard for him to miss the basket like with his size and his stature he's just he's just a brick house just built all around with two feet and Jamal Murray like we've obviously mentioned him having great numbers throughout this entire postseason it's fun but like they're just honestly walking down the Miami zone and just just laying, just I mean, handing them to them. They're honestly just making it seem look, seem and look really easy, in my opinion. Looking at Miami's standpoint, they really need to start stepping up. Just as you mentioned, they need to play, find that happy medium, and just get to where you can find the rhythm and just keep going. Whether it's on a three three zero run or a seventeen and no seventeen and two run, whatever the situation be. But Miami definitely needs to get their foot on the gas pedal and find that happy medium and just get the ball rolling both offensively and defensively and hopefully they can come out with a win in this series yeah yeah and they 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 like fighting from behind i think that's kind of an issue of theirs uh i, I feel like 
it might when be you're too far behind though. Yeah, when you're when you're going against in really Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray, literally uh, just alone, uh, that's that's really tough to, to stop. But of course, we know that they have the other pieces that can step in. It's just you did a really good job of shutting everything else down. Yeah. Uh, what what the Heat have done really good with on defense is forcing Nikola Jokic to do it all. Yeah. Uh, and if he's not going to do it all, they're not going to let anybody else do it. Definitely. Uh, and so so letting him be the one that they run through that's okay and i think that was a really good game plan but on offense you've got to figure out what what player is going to step up on offense I, again i think i think duncan duncan robinson is one guy that needs to step up whenever we we expect more from him we've we've heard a lot of people talking big talk about him mm -hmm. um but then also i think b between kyle lowry and i also think uh, Cody Zeller. I think you need to run your offense through him a little more because it yeah. it showed up really well against Boston. Uh, whenever they were they were mixing in Cody Zeller as the man they were running through, that really threw threw things off and it threw, throws the rhythm off. Uh, and I, I know that the, the the Nuggets are gonna be kind of uh, prepared for something like that because they've seen it. But I, I think you've got to mix something up. You've got to find your players that have have performed for you throughout the playoffs, mm -hmm. uh, and especially this being the finals. Definitely, you gotta throw a curveball here. I mean. It's the NBA Finals. You gotta try something. Hopefully, it can work. Yeah, they they play uh, again in Miami tonight. Do you think this game being down two one? Do you think this game at home before you go back to to Denver to, for two more games? Do you think this is a must win for for Miami right now? Absolutely. Like you're in your home stadium, you definitely the fans will definitely feed you off electricity and hype. Like that's another big key thing for Miami, just because they gotta look at this thing. We're down two to one here in the series, guys. We gotta get our foot on the gas pedal and we seriously got to find something i don't care what it i don't care what the stipulation is or what we have to do if we have to take fouls or if we have to take little itty bitty things to make it work or whatever okay we can do it but we just gotta stick stick to the game plan and just get the ball rolling you need to you definitely need to do this because if you're going to go down three to one in the series it's it's definitely going to be a really uphill battle for them yeah i don't think it's a must win but i do think it's one of those games that you have to win yeah it's not a must win, but you must win. You got it's definitely got to be something. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's 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 just weird because it's like no, you're only down two to one. I know if you go down to three one, it's difficult, but we've yeah. seen that happen plenty of times. But I, I also don't think that going against Denver right now, you can't go down three to one. No. You can be down three to two, um, yeah. but that that means you have to win this next one. Uh, I, I I do think tonight they need to win. That game's on at eight thirty tonight, yeah. uh, eight thirty Eastern, so I guess seven thirty our time, time. Um, in Central. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I I do think tonight is a must win because, uh, like I said, I, I just don't think going back to Denver and expecting to win two games in Denver is very likely. Um, and I think you need to win one tonight. Uh, you you obviously have to steal one in Denver now, mm -hmm. but then whenever you come back home again, you need to take that one again. So yeah, I think definitely. these two games left at home, you have to take, uh, and then you've got to take one of them in Denver. Which definitely. one is which one is going to be? Are you going to go three in a row, or are you just going to take a break in between one and win it in Game Seven? Um, but that's kind of all up to the Heat. Like I said, I think if they play much like what they played, uh, what was that two, two nights, nights ago, ago. now? Yeah. Uh, so if, I think if they play a lot like that again. They've got a very good chance of, of pulling this off. Uh, it's just on offense. Again, you have to find your offensive player mm -hmm. and go through him. I think Jimmy Butler can't be your offensive guy because everybody no. expects it. Yeah. Uh, I think he just needs to work his magic and do what he does, but you've got to find another guy to step up. 